events. Oh, that one sucks. That works. Crap. Everyone's dressed up. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's nice and cold. I like it. Alright, I create my own session. See if my friend wants to join. I'll oh, just send an invite. Let's throw everybody an invite. I don't, I don't know anyone who's playing this game right now. You're playing. Freaking, you're not. Boom. Two people. I hate you so very much. It's Halloween, man. You never thought of anything else. Man, I want some... I actually want some treats. What is the one? Elemental Deep... Uh... Uh, oh, that goes on. Uh, Jack Lantern. Hi, Jack. Uh, Pyro Jack. I almost said Jack Cross, and I knew that was wrong. Yeah, let's start. Let's just have one friend on Discord. He's not even on. Never mind. Never effing mind.
I might punch her when I see. Eh, not a big fan of her get up. I mean, I guess Lady Dracula is a common thing for people who do that. That was a good way to get people to hate you, so no thank you. Black Dio- nah, you're like average size. Why is it everything I fight is average size? I want you to be big so I can kill you and get your damn trophy so I can get on with some damn better games than Monster Hunter right now. As much as I love this game, I have everything I would want until, like, G-Rank or other stuff comes out. I don't need any of your crap. Thank you, Iris. I don't know who the hell you are. You're probably a friend of mine who I haven't talked to in like forever. What hunter rank are you? 13? You're 13. You're actually no. Actually, no, I don't know who that is. I mean, I just beat the crap out of them until they stopped moving at this point. I have nothing to do, minus get the tro the one trophy I'm missing for the Platinum. And then as soon as I get the Platinum on this game, we're putting the game down for at least two months. 
I might play on my own time, but like, I am not playing after freaking two months. Vanilla, I thought you couldn't make it because of your internet. Girl, your internet's like, not existent. The stream will kill your internet, or your data. I'd never say girl, why the hell did I say that right there? Didn't miss anything. I'm, damn it. Uh, I'm trying to remember Butter Building, but Butter Building... Butter Building is one of the music, one of the songs I always forget. It's worth it. Um, I mean, like, your data is really important. You shouldn't go wasting it. Unless you have, like, unlimited data, then at that point it's like, to hell with everything. Sweet Jesus! Freaking Black Diablos! No wonder you're black. And yes, I just said that. Yeah, but that has some relevant stuff because I know what you're gonna bring up, probably. Actually, no. No, I'll give you benefit of the doubt you're not bringing that up unless Gamer's here. I mean, if Gamer's here, he's bringing that up. As long as you don't bring it up, I'm okay with that. And yeah, she is sweet. She curses way too damn much, than so I why I like to hear sometimes, but at the same time, it's up to her to curse or not. I don't like cursing. Still, still double check it every so often. Unless you're stealing Wi Fi from your neighbors, then I mean, that's alright. No one's gonna really care. For some reason, I always think Apartment Village should always have free Wi Fi. Even if it's crappy free Wi Fi, it should still have some free Wi Fi. You're already. You're paying enough to live there. Hey. reason. Man, I love that fight. I still think Marx is a pretty badass fight. Marx in uh, Zero Two is really cool. I would actually probably say Zero Two goes under my favorite Kirby fight. Final fight. Yeah, I said it. I don't care. I think Mar uh, Zero Two probably goes under my favorite. For style. And what you have to do to get it. But for like, actually no, even for a story perspective, it makes sense why you're playing Zero Two. I don't know. I like Zero Two. He's one of the more interesting players. Oh no, a discussion about Kirby and how much I love it, and I'll probably get Epic uh, Epic Yarn Reloaded because that sounds like such a great idea. And plus, I like Epic Yarn. I, I know, I'm probably the only person who would probably say that, but, well, no, it's time to say that. Epic Yarn was good. It's just people thought, hey, you can't die in a Kirby game, it's worthless. No, that's not the entire point of why you couldn't die in that game. Like, I just want to sit down and play a really cutesy game. I still have to get the... Dream whatever, the dream team whatever for the Switch. That is on my, my, my list. That's on my list to buy. I need to sit down and figure out when I'm to buy it. Kirby 
Kirby 64 had a lot of good mini games too. As much as people are gonna hate like the Frogger mini game, uh, with Frogger, the Battle Block thing. Uh, my brain is drawing a blank. I can't remember the other one. Of uh, the basketball one. Like, that has some pretty good mini games. I played that a lot of time a lot of the time with my friends back in the day when we just used to gather around and play like Mario Party 2 or something. There's always Mario Party 2, Pokemon Stadium, or Kirby 64. I, I definitely know me and my friends had one at one point. Probably when we were teenagers, roughly we were close enough to teenagers. I think we all decided we wanted to play a couple levels of Kirby 64. And like, I never got 100% until I was like in, in Kirby 64, so I didn't get to see Zero Two until quite some time after I played Kirby 64. Uh, and the only reason I figured out how to get to Zero Two was actually from a YouTube video way back in the day. That was also the same time I beat I, I beat uh, Majora's Mask for the first time, back when I was like 15, 16 ish. So yeah. I, I still, I still really think that Kirby 64 was a really well-designed game. It was hard at a couple times, hard at a couple points. I think the only time it was ever played really that hard for me was when I was fighting Dark Matter or uh, Plasma Matter. Plasma Matter? Uh, what's the the big final boss called? Because Dark Matter, Dark Matter was, uh, the little entity things from Zero. And Zero Two, technically, I guess, because Zero wasn't in that game. Miracle Matter, I think that was called. I'm pretty sure it's Miracle Matter. Yeah, Miracle Matter is, like, the only thing that ever caused me troubles as a kid. Hell, even now, I think Miracle Matter is still probably one of the hardest like fights I've, I've ever done for a non-RPG game. No, I had to rest down and think if that was like the hardest fight I've ever done in a non-RPG game. There's probably a couple other ones that I have just a bad history of, but like the problem is I don't really play a lot of, well even back then I didn't play a lot of uh, like action or turn-based, or no, I didn't play a lot of action or adventure games. Actually yeah, I, I think Miracle Matter was the hardest fight for me. And yeah, I still love that game. I still love, I still love that damn fight. That fight's like the best. Um, actually, no, because I like Aqua. The Aqua fight in um, Kirby 64 was pretty cool. Same with the Shiver Star one, the RT24 slash TX or whatever. It was the stupid robot in Kirby 64 I loved. I hate I hate fighting him as a kid. I still kind of hate fighting him, but that was a pretty memorable fight. Um, the lava guy was pretty cool too. Give me a second. I'm gonna test this guy. Uh, oh, here we go. I can still see chat, so feel free to chat. Hiccups, oh my god. Yeah, let me test this guy first. I don't know, what was a hard Kirby fight for you guys? Like, now or back when you were kids? A lot of 64 bosses were hard for me as a kid. Not so much now.
Actually, let's, let's put a little rule in this. It can't be a final fight in a Kirby game. Nah. But if it has to be a final fight, it has to be a final fight. I shouldn't limit you guys to, like, a non-final fight. Actually, I am actually now trying to remember all the stars in um, Kirby 64. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Uh, Pop Star, Rock Star, Neo Star, Aqua Star, uh, Sugar Star, and Heart Star? Yeah. And then the Dark World Star, or whatever that's called. I, I don't remember what that is. I think that's what's called Dark World. I'd be more or less impressed if I said that all in order. I am pretty sure I said that all in wrong order. I need to really sit down and actually uh, think about what I want to do for music things for um, that one game I'm trying to make. I have an idea what I want to do, I just don't really know if I should go through with it. <laughs> I do actually want to start playing more, like, I need, to, I need to start straight away from RPGs again. Not to say I dislike them, I just want to really f figure out what's good in RPG stuff. Like, other than RPGs for me. I do like Devil May cry stuff, so I'll probably go back to, like, playing Devil May Cry or something. I don't know what I want to do, in all honesty. I never touch a sports game because I don't like sports games. I'm excited for the Animal Crossing game. That comes out next year. I'm kind of I'm kind of expecting that to come out like right the beginning of next year, just because like, it'll make a lot of sense in a business aspect because the events and stuff will be like, oh, we gotta wake up and have an event today like Christmas or like, dude, I'm actually down for seeing the Christmas thing in Animal Crossing again. I like the Christmas, New Year's, and I'm not a big fan of the Halloween event really. I'm also kind of impressed that they're not bringing back Isabel for it. They're bringing back the Nook idea, where Nook is their landlord. I don't know. I, I like the idea of Nook being the landlord, effectively. I don't know how to, I don't know how to feel about the new Animal Crossing game. It's still a little too early for me to really speculate a lot. Then again, I'm actually really upset that they're putting Isabelle in Smash. But hey, that's just me. I, I don't like it. I really don't. You know what the worst part is? Like, a lot of people are losing their crap over it, but I'm just like, eh, eh. There's not much to say. I mean, I don't like most things that Nintendo does with Smash, but that's just me. And plus, them having every variation of a link in there, eh, can't say I'm approving of that one. Because there's like, what, four different links? Actually, yeah, Standard Link, Toon Link, Young Link, uh, 
three variations that I can think of. Okay, never mind. Asian Daisy would be the exact damn same, so I guess two variations of her. Uh, what else is there? Ridley, which I'm actually kind of excited to see Ridley in there. I'm more excited to see King K. Rule because the last game you've ever seen King K. Rule in, I believe, was the uh, uh, Don Kong 64. Actually, no, he was in uh, Jungle Swing or whatever. You know, that really crappy spin off GBA game that I played. Was he in Jungle Beats? No. Uh, the Jungle Beats things were like, what, the. the Bong Kongs or whatever. I never actually played that much of uh, Don Kong's uh, Jungle Beats. The only one I did play was the first one, Death, because my friend owned it and he was never home, so I just <laughs> I just bought it and played crap at it. Same with Star Fox Adventure. I never played a lot of Star Fox, Star Fox Adventure back in the day. I actually did end up beating it once, but man, that game is hard. Um, I am actually not trying to remember what else I played. Star Fox Assault, I played a bit. I didn't really like Assault. I can't really say that I enjoyed Assault, just because it was a very weird, like, battlefield kind of game. I mean, I still enjoy it for a Star Fox game, but I can't say I enjoy it as a game game. Uh, what else I played for GameCube that was kind of obscure? Actually, I don't think I played any obscure games for GameCube. I can't recall that many at the very least. I know for the PS2 I played a lot of screw games on the PS2 just because like they're hard to find. I'm talking about PS2, I'm really thinking about sitting down and um, talking to someone as I play Wild Arms so we can platinum that game. So I can platinum that game. Whenever Frost gets her internet back, I'll probably ask her to do it with me because I think she'd be probably the best one to explain how to do things. Oh, yes. Also, everybody left me. Thanks, everybody. Love you, too. Ah uh, man, tomorrow I'm gonna be playing a lot of Splatoon because I'll be doing Splatfest stuff. Because why the hell not? Oh man, you guys also don't know what I picked for Splatfest. Aw oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna record it. Because I don't think I'd be able to stream it unless I can stream it. I'll, I'll try streaming it. If not, I'll record it. But yeah, let's just say you guys may be you may be sh not shocked about what I picked for Splatfest. Ugh. 
<laughs> yeah, I've been on my PS4 all day today. I'm probably gonna play my I'm gonna play Splatoon actually tonight. Assuming I have time tonight. I probably won't, I'll probably play tomorrow, but Oh yeah, but I have played tonight because I didn't check what was off the grabs today. And play a lot of Hyrule Warriors again. I, I've been in, I've been in a weird mood to play that game. Part of the reason I want to play that game is to get all the gold skull tools I'm missing. Cause I'm missing quite a few gold skull tools. Well, the only ones I'm really missing are the hard mode stuff, and I can do that anytime. Not super concerned about the hard mode. I'm super concerned about the DLC stuff I'm gonna be going through. Cause there's what? There's no Breath of the Wild, I'm pretty sure. There's uh, Link's Awakening, Majora's Mask, which I still yet to touch. Uh, Majora's Mask, the, the original Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, I think. Uh, Phantom Hourglass and Finish Cap? Oh, you see like a big one. Oh man, this actually does seem pretty big. As long as we don't F up, I'm okay to get this. All we gotta do is not F up. That's not too, too hard, is it? I'm here, like, just sitting down praying at this point. I'm just like, please let's be a large one, please let's be a large one. Up song. That's not Ink Me Up, but you guys know what I mean. Man, I. That video is actually kind of old, but that's a great video for those who like the Splatoon 1 Splat Best song. I am actually really partial for Splatoon 2's Splat Best songs. It's really good too. So I think one of the better songs in Splatoon 2. That and the DLC's uh, final boss song. Which, by the way, I have rectified my uh, Let's Play of it. I finally sat down and did the entire DLC without dying the, the last couple stages of it. And I feel so good doing it, because like it's, it's hard. Like, I don't blame myself for skipping it when I did, because I was A, tired, and B, recording around midnight. I needed to go to bed. Uh, roughly like an hour later by that point. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I definitely really, I'm really glad I sat down and redid that. And I was like, you know, I'm not letting this beat me, I'm doing this proper. And I did. It only took me two shots to do the final fight. The, 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 the final fight. Which is, once again, very impressive for me because that final fight is actually a lot harder than people think it is.
Don't you fail, Iris. Don't you goddamn fail. I meant to super dive. I meant to super dive! Oh, freaking hell. Well, I am SOL to the highest order. Mega Man villain. Oh my dear god, seizures! Oh, you didn't hit me, thank god. Do, 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 do. I'm taking your heal away. Back for those who might care about what I play on the side. I've been playing Core Trigger again. I finally got it to Robo! Aw oh, man, it's a pretty Robo scene. Oh hell. That goal, my, uh, goal of the year is actually me sitting down playing Furniture and being in it for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah, I know it's sad. How, how is it only you not beat Chrono Trigger ever? I got lost several times playing it, and every time I looked up a Let's Play, I always forgot where I was and ended up watching the Let's Play over playing the game. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons I've never beat Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Fantastic game, though. Like, a really fantastic game. Actually, what was Chrono Trigger made? 
97? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Protoner is one of the last games in the Super Nintendo library, right? I think it's 98. I'll actually look that up because I am very concerned. Actually, also due to old games, I got to a lot of older music that I thought I would never listen to before. And listening to like Nintendo Capri Son and other less players that are older than I am helps a lot because it's just like I gotta learn about music that I never followed all that much. Even though a lot of a lot of Nintendo Capri Son stuff was kind of more music I'm into, which I'm surprised I never heard some of them. Time that it plays is during the modern time for Chrono Trigger. That sounds about right. Guys, that can spell. Uh, 95? Wow, Chrome Trim's older than I thought it was. Okay, well, I'm off by a year. And that game is also older than I am by a year. That's really impressive. I did not think Chrono Trigger came out of 95. Um, I'm a little shocked, actually. Okay, without looking at it, let's see if I spell Chrono right. There we go. Can you find that one video? Yeah, I, I, I like the people. I'll, I'll, I'll get there someday. I'll, I'll get there when I can just go based off memory and spell Chrono Trigger. I don't know if I should play Chrono Cross though. I, I tried playing Chrono Cross a long time ago and didn't really like it. I don't know, maybe because I'm a bit older I might enjoy it a little more now. I want to 
want to kill someone. Oh, it is a female. Oh, for sake. Let's do it again. Because I know if I'm going to do it. Wait, I was going to share that video. Crap. Twitter. Real theme. Let's just put this at the end of this. Oh, this is... A thing I Okay, glad we did this all. And of course, my Discord will be getting that instant freaking tenuously because I like to do it like that. Now, the time of proof that I spell it right. I spelled it right! I'm getting better! So when did Final Fantasy VI come out then? It came in the same year, it's probably 94 then. Cause I remember, if Pro Tour was like one of the last RPGs Square Enix made for the Super Nintendo, I would be damned if Final Fantasy VI was a year older. Actually, let's look that up. So I was right. Color me a little impressed. So, wait, hold on. So, for games for the Super Nintendo that Square Enix made, it was, or at least like Final Fantasy wise, it was Final Fantasy 4, probably 93. Final Fantasy 5, which never released here, but I was saying 90. No, Final Fantasy 4 had to be like 90. One or something, right? Man, I don't know. All I know is I'm super glad that I learned Chrono Trigger is just one year younger or older than I am. It it show it it shoot it shows that people can actually do good work. Like I'm not gonna lie, Chrono Trigger probably took a long time to develop and like to get a concept of. But it's such a good payoff.
Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm, gl I'm glad that Chrono Trigger was as loved as it is because if I if people didn't love Chrono Trigger as much as everyone does, I don't think I would ever play Chrono Trigger. Because I think I originally found it from H.E. Bailey's channel. I originally saw H.E. Bailey play it, and then a couple years later I saw uh, Tim slash Nintendo Free Song play it. Or no, did did Nintendo Free ever do a Let's Play of Chrono Trigger? It was someone I saw do Let's Play of Chrono Trigger, I don't remember if it was uh, Tim or not. I think, I think it was someone else? Yeah, I don't know, I need to really, like, look back on my playlist of the Let's Play that I used to watch. It, no, Grown 50 didn't really do stuff like that. No, it was Grown 50, in that case, dude, I just got that guy again. <laughs> Like, it also goes to show that a lot of the pop fantasy games are a lot more European lore than, uh, like, Asian or Japanese lore. And that's also part of why I like Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger a lot, is because they're kind of set in their own worlds. And it feels like it's their own world. It's not like a spin-off pseudo our world. And let's talk about, like, Illusion of Gaia, because at least in... Alright, in the sense of Illusion of Gaia, it's... It makes sense if you guys play it, and I like it because of that. But no, I hate games that are like. I guess this only goes for modern games. But like, oh, you're in like, ye old Shibuya or whatever. It's like, no, no, cut right there. I'm pretty much never playing you at this point. Is that sad that if an RPG is in its own world, it's a huge turnoff for me? Unless it's like a game I know a lot about and actually enjoy. Case in point, World Ends View. Okay, one's dead. Oh man, I also went out of my way to find the the Edel Bean playlist again. I actually really enjoy a lot of the songs she does. Or did. Does, does Edel still do music? I don't really know, because I'm not gonna lie, I kinda slipped out of the news for Edo because I'm not gonna lie, I... <laughs> the last thing she posted was like four months ago, and I kinda was just like, oh that's cute, the new post. I watch it, and I... I'll say about commenting on it, but I don't think I ever see it. But yeah, the thing about Edo is, it's just like... I, I watch her for a couple of her older Let's Plays and stuff, and I'm thinking about actually sitting down and watching her uh, play through Secret of Mana on these days. Actually, I might do that tonight. I might start it tonight and marathon it like, for the rest of tomorrow. Like, just put it on as I'm playing some too. I remember watching your Final Fantasy VI Let's Play way back in the day. Man, that was actually- yeah, that was when I was watching Kind of Sky a lot, too. Man, that brings back memories. That also brings back memories of me going to Poland for the first time and actually seeing my grandma. Man, I was like, what, 13 at that point?
Nope, I'm out. I did, I did also watch something recent of Edo's, like, not recent as in uploaded recent, but recent of, uh, me actually sitting down and, like, finding an obscure game I wanted to watch. I think it was Goof Troop. If it wasn't Goof Troop, it was one of the Mickey Mouse games for, like, the second Genesis. Oh, I have the hiccups. Oh, shit. You know, I'll also probably look into the fact if, um, if Edo ever did a Let's Play of Chrono Trigger. She probably did it. I know she did a lot of RPG stuff. But I think, like, the most she did was Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana, Final Fantasy VI, and Lufia II, Rise of the Centrals, which turned out to be one of my, like, really loved games in the sense of I played that and I fell out of it. I played that as soon as I was done watching her Let's Play. I, I don't know why I was watching, I watched the entire Let's Play and then played it, but I remember there was a particular reason I wanted to play it for myself. I think it was the fact that I thought it looked really dumb, but really cool, or something. But yeah, no, I actually sat down and played um, Blue Fear 2 by the Essentials. I didn't get super far into it because of emulator problems and a lot of other problems on top of that. But I do agree never getting at least the hack. I don't remember where the halfway mark is though, because it's been quite some time. I think it was when Artia and not Artia and Guy, Artia and Maxim, 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 uh, have like get married. I think that's the halfway mark. Or no, is it Artia? Uh oh. I don't remember her name. <laughs> I don't remember her name at all. I guess that's also what got me into games like Grandia too. Except Grandia is a lot different. Like battle system and story-wise. Except Grandia had a lot of good uh, story elements into it too. Man, I actually want to sit down and play Grandia. Oh. The worst part is I have the entire uh, threesome on my side, a series on my side. I have Grandia 1 for PS1 for the PS, or yeah, for PS3. I have Grandia 3 for the PS3. I have Grandia 2 on the PC now. So, yeah, I, I have the entire Grandia games. I don't know if I want to play through them. That's a weird thing. I have them. I play Grandia 3, like, almost to completion. But the problem is, I wanted to stream Grandia 2 for quite some time now. I never actually did it. I streamed, like, I think the first little bit of it, but I didn't play anything past that point. I guess, same with Final Fantasy 3, I never actually played past that point to stop the stream. And who knows, if people want it enough, I'll probably stream this game again. I did say that it'll wait until it gets colder outside so I can start, like, have less worries about my computer freezing up. It is starting to get colder, so at the very least I can start attempting stuff like that. Okay, while well, time to go down his uh, history lane, Final Fantasy V. When did that come out? Final Fantasy V is what the hell? 1987. What? Um, that doesn't seem too right. Final Fantasy IV. 91. Okay, so no way in hell Final Fantasy V came out before that. 
Oh, the poor Jerry video is for it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I actually find that really awesome. But Final Fantasy V, what the crap? I is the wiki, like, the Google thing wrong with that? Probably, because I don't think it's, it's not that early. Look out. I believe the original Final Fantasy came out in that time. Yeah, let me also look if that is the right song. Yeah, that is the right song for Chrono Trigger. Wow, and Edo's thing is like the fourth thing on this. Um, this is gonna kill someone. Put that barely loud enough so I can hear it. I did not remember Edo's uh, thing being that popular for Chrono Trigger. <laughs> then again, that video's also been online for like a couple of years now, I think. Oh, dude, that's the floating islands for Chrono Trigger. Man, I know way too much of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell, I really like Chrono Trigger and RPGs in general. You know what this also reminds me of? Um, oddly enough, it reminds me of the Crystal Caverns in uh, Don Donkey Kong 64. Man, I don't know why I'm getting flashbacks to that part. That is actually probably my least played area in Donkey Kong 64, if I'm going to tell the truth. I don't think I ever liked Crystal... Oh well, no, I, I liked it, I just didn't play much of it. Creepy Castle was also like, uh, another stage I played a lot of. Which is so weird, because it's like the final area. It actually, it actually... Oh my god, I'm saying actually way too much. Actually, I think that is the final area in Dog Dogon 64. Minus the King K. Rule battleship thing. Okay, let me find out. Oh my god, 2010, February 1st. 
That's eight years ago. Actually, uh, no. I must have been old in 13, listening to this. Why do I feel so stupid right now? Uh... Yeah, 13. Or 14. I was 14 listening to this song. Oh my god. So that means I've been a, I've been a fan for Edo, for um, of Edo stuff for quite some time then. I feel so sad because she's been streaming recently and I've just never been able to make it because I'm busy with this and other things like editing. You know, I could throw a stream on in the background as I'm editing. Yeah, but no, I'm I am really impressed that I have been keeping up with people like that for over eight years. Because I know for. In the, in the case of Edo, I remember Edo got me into Blood Plus because I saw her uh, Japanese, uh, not Japanese, her um, Blood Plus intro she did. And oh my god, that song is amazing. If you guys don't know what Blood Plus is, you guys won't get what I'm talking about. But yeah, you guys should definitely look up um, Edo stuff. She is one of the better. Actually, no, I can't say that. She's not one of the better YouTubers that I follow. But she she is part of the community of Let's Players I follow, just because, like, they're really nice people. I wish I got the chance to meet some of them. Except, you know, working and other things that always take priority because I'm stupid. Uh, but I will actually put her name in chat. Hopefully this, this doesn't get me in trouble, but... Just for, just for you guys who want to know later on. Yep, that's um, her YouTube channel. So I think I'm covered on that part. And I wonder if Starman.net is still a popular site. I mean, I want to go back into forums and stuff because that was the thing about the internet I never really got into because of how I was as a kid and my parents being super overprotective. But um, if there's forums still active nowadays, I actually wouldn't mind like chilling back on a forum and just like getting to know people.
Yeah, that's how I spent it. There is one particular Edo song I want to listen to right now. Ah, slap on dust just theme. You, <laughs> you know what, guys? Cause I'm I'm actually part of the Earthbound like people who do like Earthbound stuff. I need to actually start buying like action and stuff. I know they they go for really damn high prices, but I actually wouldn't mind having like a little plushie of a nest or something. Man, this is actually why Duster became one of my favorite characters in Mother 3, is because of Edo. <laughs> fun, fun fact about me, because, alright, by the point I was finding new Let's Players, I was watching a slew of Let's Players. I was watching like Quadrants 14, Nat 9 and other Let's Players I haven't kept up with for pretty damn close to a decade at this point. But, um, as I was looking through some of their old videos and stuff, like even somewhat now, because I was trying to find some old stuff just to keep me, like, keep me laughing and ask me why I started Let's Playing, because those guys are still people who inspired me to do Let's Plays. I was looking through a lot of it, and then I remembered. It, it hit me all out of nowhere that Mother 3 was a big game for me because of Cho Conroy. It was an even bigger game because of Edo and her uh, covers of covers of certain songs. And this is roughly around the same time I think Smash Brawl was out? Yeah, Brawl was out by this point. So like, I didn't know anything about Lucas, I didn't know anything about the game that he came from. It actually kind of irritated me in a sense because I didn't understand why Lucas was such a crybaby in Brawl's uh, atmosphere mode. But yeah, watching some of this stuff has really changed my, my eyes on like people and fandoms. Like, granted, I know some very messed up people from fandoms, but no, like not all of them are bad. And I think Earthbound is one of the better communities I've joined up with. And I'm going to share this on Twitter, and I don't care what. joke. I, I'm kind of impressed I made a joke out of that. Uh, that's not the song I want to listen to. Here we go. Okay, last song for me tonight.
that the plot you have? We'll set. I don't know what that is. Oh, we're doing this? I'm game. I should actually play Earthbound again. That, that's been on my brain to actually play since I've been watching John Karma's uh, re Let's Play of it. Or his redone Let's Play of that. I've been really itching to play stuff like that again. Yeah, this is even older, 2008. I was involved. Did I find out? Did I find out about everyone else doing this? I'm still getting over the fact that I was 11 years old. Was this in old YouTube format where you could only upload 15 minute videos? Let me see this. I'm not gonna watch it, but I wanna know. Yeah, 20 minute video. So that would that would have been like right after the 10 minute video mark. I'm actually really impressed that I remember that. Actually I had a YouTube back then too, so yeah, that makes sense to me. That, that's middle school. Doing Power Stone as a joke. Don't kill me for it. You're gonna kill me for it, aren't you? Oh crap. Safe.
Mr. Bucket. It falls in my trunk for Mr. Bucket. At the mouth of all for Mr. Bucket. Love is a fraud, Mr. Bucket. Love is a alpha fudge. No, 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 no. I don't want to die. I don't want to live either at the same time, though. Sound like a really bad Waluigi. Waluigi, well, like, Ouija straight up. It's a Ouija, I'm gonna win. Man, which Mario Kart was that? I want to say 64. Back when, like, Luigi did, like, what well, everyone did, like, three voice clips. What? Well, that deserves a few. I'd be here if kill me. I'm going out like a man. Went out like a man. Well, thank God. I only, uh, yeah, it says stream is only two hours today, just because it'll be a shorter day for me. <laughs> you guys are still getting half a half a stream, a normal stream, though.
how the crap did I do that? Yep, I need to also sit up. Fix my sitting posture. Okay, you heard a hell time. Frick, 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 frick. He's going to do it. Yeah, he's going to go down the here. He's going path now. Oh my god, everyone's just checking his ass. Insult this time. Is that a movie quote? You know, come the hell on. If you broke the horn, she doesn't.
what the actual fuck? My defense that bad? It shouldn't be. I have like really high end gear on my butt. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, this will be the last one, win or lose. Unless I die in like two seconds.
I was waiting for it. The rest of the laps. That's it for tonight. I said tonight was going to be a super short stream just because I had to stream later because of this event. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for... I don't think we're going to do Dragon Quest. I think we're going to finish up Kingdom Hearts tomorrow. At least that's what I want to do. I want to finish up Aqua Story and then we'll probably finish up... We'll probably start up Ben's. Yep, that's the autumn festival for you guys. God damn it. I do QA until the time runs out for the two hours though, just so it's actually a half a stream. I'm bitter. I rest it, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Puff, puffy eyelids? You get something in, did you get something in there? Well, I think I'm going to call it a stream, honestly. <gasps> God damn it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Kinnipar Kinnipar's Burp by Sleep. We'll probably finish that up.